Well, hey, my fellow people of the interwebs, stuff like that. I'm Demon, and welcome back to another episode. Let's play Sly 2 Band of Thieves in the last episode. We did that very long recon mission in the blimp, as you see in that corner right there. See that corner right there? That's the blimp we were in and did all that crap in. So anyways, in this episode, we're going to be starting the whole bunch of missions we have to do, which are basically all the same thing, but just different stuff. I'll basically just show you what they are right now. Let's just actually see what they are. We have Sly, ben Sly Bentley Conspire, Bentley Murray Team Up, and we also have over here, Murray Sly Tag Team. Now, what I want to do, I'm actually going to be, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to be doing Murray Sly Tag Team first, because I'm pretty sure... I mean, that's the mission I always start with, so yeah. I don't even know why I brought Sly out. I basically just brought Sly out because he's the easiest one to actually do the jump test with, but let's go to Murray Bentley Sly thing. Murray, it looks like I'm going to need some help getting into that engine room. Happy to help! Bentley tells me that the door to that room is locked down by wall-mounted power stations located throughout this blimp. I'll need you to take out all the power stations and then pry open the door by hand. No sweat, Sly. Okay, now we have to use our Murray destructive powers to defeat those weird block thing. Blocks? Yeah, they, yeah, they're blocks, okay. They're totally blocks. We have to actually defeat these things right here. These weird alarm things, which of course, I always hate these kind of missions. Because you have to pick up something, and then you have to throw it at it, and it gets annoying. And that didn't work. Okay, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. Let's see if I can actually throw it here. There we go, okay. Now we have to watch our step because we have to, okay. I know what, I only, I usually actually try to uh, aim right around here for it. And I'm pretty sure these take three hits. I'm not so sure, let's see. Yep, they take three, okay. And luckily no guards actually came there. Where are the other ones that we have to get? Okay, yeah, they're kind of spread out through the whole area. Well, because they should be spread out through the whole area because if they weren't, then it wouldn't be hard to get it. And did you see that bottle, like, glitch through the thing? I guess that shows that, uh, it's not easy just like that. And, yeah, I guess they just didn't have enough animation skills to actually just put the bottle going up and down. I don't know. Okay, now, what's the closest one? Okay, let's see. We can either do, uh, this one's the closest to here, so let's just... Wait, these are all on the ground level, aren't they? Yep, they are. Okay, that changes a lot of stuff. I thought they were, one of them was on the top level. That just shows how much I've played this game over the years. Okay. Then again, it's been forever since... It's been actually since my last LP of this game. Since I've played this part. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. No, no. You don't do that. Let's actually uh, throw that there. Okay, there we go. Now let's see how we can actually get rid of these guys. Because these guards are actually a little bit tricky to get rid of. Because uh, they have their own little uh, weird floating things with their other stuff. And I don't know. And let's actually get this one down, because this one's actually right next to the other one, which I find weird. I mean, I don't find it weird, I find it pretty cool that it's right next to the other one. But whatever, you know, okay, god, god, I don't want to get hit by- Thank you, okay. Thank you, I'm actually doing this pretty well. Usually I, like, freak out on this. I guess it's because I'm not listening to, like, the music that plays through here. I mean, like, I don't know, I just always don't like these Murray walk around, because you just know how much I loved this mission, like, the one- that one mission, like, the first game. I mean, no, episode one. Peanut, shut up. I don't I don't want you barking, dog. And yes, I don't care if I call my dog by its name, because my dog's name is Peanut. And it's actually Peanut Butter Jelly Sandwich Puppy, which is the name I made. I was three when I made the name. Uh, don't worry, I was three. And why am I going all weird? I don't know. I guess it's because if I when I find a new LP here, I kind of, like, don't... I did not want to throw it at you. Dang it. I did not want to throw the thing at you. I wanted to throw it at something else. Also, watch out for Clockla because Clockla will, I mean, she does have her radar things, which, don't you do that. And why is my dog barking? My mom, my parents shouldn't even be home yet. And my dog's barking, but whatever, I guess we just, uh, to try to ignore it, which is very hard to ignore my dog barking because he just barks like crick. Be right back. Okay, that probably didn't help uh, out with anything, but the dog is quiet right now, so hopefully he'll stay quiet for the rest of the episode. But knowing me, it's probably just going to be going all jibber-jabber-jibber-jay like, in like a few seconds or something, so I don't even know. Where, where is the last one? Where are you, last one? Wait, where are you? Wait I, wait, I can't see it, and my dog's barking again. Like, my dog will stop barking if I'm outside or whatever. I mean, like, outside there, but it's just, I'm not gonna be outside there for the whole episode, just, like, standing there. 
outside by my dog where I can't see my TV or anything, so I guess we're just gonna have to deal with it. Then again, I do I do probably live in the most noisiest house ever. That didn't work out the way I wanted it to, but he dead. He dead. Uh, no matter, he dead. Damn it! Where is the thing? Where do you go? Peanut, shut up! I, I, I'm annoyed with you barking, dog! Get- SHUT UP! Huh. Oh my god! Okay, I'm just- I'm just gonna ignore it now, okay. Okay, sorry for freaking out like that, but where is that other thing? And that dog making me- making barking is making me get all mad, and also another bottle. That's four bottles, I think. That's four out of the 30 bottles that we usually have in every single level. Every level- well, we're only six minutes on the timer? Dang. Whatever. And still, going back to my dog thing, I don't even know what he's barking at. Like, my parents aren't home, and usually he'd bark if, like, they come in the driveway or something, but... I mean, the neighbor dogs aren't barking. I, he's probably barking at a leaf, because that's like, he'll bark at any crappy thing or anything. Like, if there's anything he could bark at, he'll bark at it. It's it's just simple as that. Simple as plain pie right there. Whatever. Okay, we need to... Wait, do you get shocked by this? Wait, I wonder if you get shocked by... Okay, you don't get shocked by that, but I was actually pretty close to uh, actually losing that. Okay. Now, how am I going to find any places to actually... Oh god, this is bad. 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 Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I I'm gonna kill you guard. I, I don't want the flashlight guard here. I do not want the flashlight guard here. I can deal with you guys here. I can deal with the other guys and okay. There we go. Okay. Now all those things are done. Now I just need to make it to the waypoint where I don't even know where the waypoint is. So yay. Let's let's play Jordan trying to find where the hell I have to go. Okay. And there's guards chasing me. So yeah. I'm actually surprised that I really didn't freak out. The only thing I freaked out about was just my freaking dog. And where do I have to go? Dang it. Where, where, where? where? There, there are certain areas where the gas things where you have to go, and I can't find it for the life of me. I, I mean, usually there's a waypoint or something that's around here, and man, this just shows how much I don't know about this level. And the guards are still following me. They're still following me after all this time. Let's just wait here. Oh, okay, you're still... Oh my god, oh my god, just die. Thank you. That's better, that one guard chased me all that way. Now, where is that waypoint? There you are, okay, thank you, gracias, thank you, I, I, I can see where you are now, okay. This might actually be the only mission I do in this episode, just because, I don't know. And this is, a, I even said, this is the mission I want to do in the first thing. But now thinking of it, I should, probably shouldn't have done this mission, I probably should have done another one, because I really, I'm not prepared for this. And yes, as you remember, just another thing where you just have to mash the button or whatever. And finally, they don't give us a little, like, tutorial or anything before opening this, saying, like, mash the X button or mash any button you want to. Okay, finally, let's go in here and do what we're supposed to do. No, I had to swallow my spit there. I haven't said I had to swallow my spit in a while because I really didn't feel like actually saying that right out loud. But finally, we're into this part of the mission, which we, we already failed. We already failed. Okay. This, ba this is basically, uh, because there's all, as you know, there's the three engines. These engines basically test your skills to the limit as all characters. Like, this one is a sly portion of doing it, which is basically just a whole bunch of dodging and stuff. Nothing really, like, important you have to do. It's just a whole bunch of dodging. The Murray one is just a whole bunch of, like, breaking stuff and other stuff like that. That's basically it. And also watch out for the, that weird laser thing, because that is bad. Also, laser thing's up here, too, so yay. Uh, okay, I see. Let me just jump over to this thing. Okay, and now as you see, uh, actually going up to here, I believe that we want to actually, uh... Oh god, we're dead, that's one hit KO. Oh, we actually start up here, okay, I didn't know we started up here. Okay, that's good, that's somewhat good or whatever. Now let's actually do this the correct way, which is basically kind of, uh, waiting to jump between each... Why? God, God, jump, okay, oh god, oh god, okay. Whoa, this is not working the way I wanted it to. Okay, whoa, God, I, okay, I'm not doing that anymore. Okay, I'm gonna wait a little bit before, what the fuck? Okay, 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 okay. Since when do I, okay, I guess I, 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 I had a pattern for this, like, when I used to be, play this game. I, I used to have a pattern for this part of here. I don't know what the hell the pattern is now. I guess it's just jumping back and forth and waiting for this one here. Okay, that, okay, that's the pattern I'm gonna stick with. Because this pattern's actually working now. Okay. Now we don't have to act like a retard and accidentally hit the electrified, like, ground or whatever. Okay. Now that's better. Okay. I am just not having a fun time with this level. 
And this is an easy one. I really, I like this one out of here. Also, make sure when going here, make sure you don't miss that. Holy God, if I landed on that electric thing right there, I would have been pissed. And yes, I know he's talking, but let's just finish that. Okay, now job completed. And now, yep, there's the vault there, but we only have four of the, out of the five bottles. Also, now the, like, electric thing is, I mean, electric thing is gone, so you can just walk through here perfectly fine without any harm or any foul. And, whoa, I didn't mean to actually bring my Binaki Com out here. This looks so weird without any lasers or anything, but, yep, now we just need to make it out here. And the first uh, engine is done, so it's only 11 minutes. I'm actually going to be doing another mission. I'm going to be doing the mission I really don't want to do. And I, I'm just gonna get I'm just gonna get it done and over with just because I'm out with Sly and I just be, just because of that I'm just going to do that. I don't know I'm probably gonna do this whole mission in this episode so sorry if it gets to like 20 minutes or something but I just don't want to have like a one episode thing. So where's the other Sly? Oh the Sly mission's right here. I don't even have to go over there. Okay. Now let's just uh, kind of run over. Well not run over here. Let's just paraglide another stuff right here to this mission. Where are you? Okay, wait, why am I saying... Oh, yeah, I know, because I have Sly on, and I want to just get these missions done right now. So this is a TNT run, I think. This engine room is locked down tight. Since we can't get in, I figure we'll have to destroy it from the outside. I hope you're carrying some heavy explosives, Bentley, because that engine isn't small. It just so happens that there's a ready supply of explosives already available on the blimp. Lock one of these TNT barrels up to that engine room, to destroy it. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? The initial payload in that TNT barrel won't be powerful enough to do the job. If you pick up three magnetic chargers, you should achieve the necessary blast force to destroy the engine. It's simple, really. Just get close to the chargers, and they'll automatically attach to your barrel. All right. Let's blow stuff up. Okay, so... This mission, I gotta say, is actually pretty long. It's basically a TNT barrel. You have to walk through here and watch out for the guard. So I'm going to speed this up and actually still commentate through it. So as I'm going to say, after uh, getting past this guard right here, speed, I mean, well, just right now, speed up montage time. God, okay, I don't know why I didn't talk there, but I just got text message. Sorry about that. But anyways, now let's just go into the speed up montage time, the actual speed up montage time. I might just cut that little part out just because I thought of cutting it out. Okay, now let's actually do this the correct way. Because that guard, if you saw, it actually turns around. I don't want that to turn around or whatever. And okay, I actually got through that. Like, that's actually the fastest I ever got through that part. Let's just kind of stake out here for a second. Hopefully, he doesn't actually cross our paths over here. Because we all know how, like, stupid these guards are. Well, not stupid, but actually smart guards, because they will actually walk towards whatever you're trying to do. And thank God he didn't turn around, okay? So basically, as Bentley said for this mission, what we have to do is we have to actually walk around and try to get these other, like, uh, charges or whatever. Luckily, this mission, they only have the flashlight guards, which I think is actually pretty good that they get rid of all the other guards ex except the flashlight guards just because, so you don't have to worry about, like, uh, like guards you don't know what the radius is, which I think is actually pretty cool, but all we have to do is just walk up there. Now we have to find where the other charges are, which th there's one over there. Where's the other one? Where is the other one? There it is. That's the other one. Okay. What well, the thing is, what one do I want to go for? I think I want to go for this one here, but I'm not so sure. So basically, I mean, there's always a certain path you should take going through here, but I don't even know if you can understand me right now because I'm, I'm speeding this up right here. But I don't know. I don't even know why I'm not why I'm talking and not just like, like having music through it. But I don't know. I just thought that uh, since I like did it this way for my actual first LP of this game, why not just do it this way for not first LP, well, first completed LP of this game, my old channel? So why not just say, you know, why don't just commentate through this because it'd be pretty cool. Okay. So the, first, the second charge is actually right by the safe house. Sorry about that on my phone. That's because my mom was just texting saying she's about to come back from where she is right now. And man, I can't believe I don't even know what time it is right now. But let's just get the second charge here. And now where's the last charge we have to get? It is way over there. Okay. But then again, this is actually the way I usually get it because I'm pretty sure that's where it actually comes closest, I think. Now, okay, I'll, it's actually... I can go either ways with this, except there's guards either way, so I'm just gonna go this way because it's the fastest and I don't have to worry about stopping for a guard. I don't know, I'm pretty sure you can actually jump up with this one. I hope, please, to God. Also, what I really like about this is they actually bring you all the way up there with that, so they, they make it generous. They, they, they make it generous with it, but you actually do have to get up here through here to whatever. So this is actually the mission because, as you know, I mean, blah, 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 because when you jump out of the barrel because it'll like, just explode, and man, it actually has a pretty good fire. I'm pretty sure if you even jump out, it'll just say, I mean, it won't say like mission failed or anything, it'll just say, actually, I think it will if you do that. I, I mean, I'm not gonna check because that'd be the stupid thing to do. Stupid things of stupid autocity. I feel like I'm taking a different route than I usually do. I don't know why it just feels like it. Okay, let's just wait for that to go by. Thank you. That's better. Now, hopefully, he doesn't turn around to actually let's go around this way because I don't want to mess with any guards because we all know how these guards can be a pain in the buttocks at times because they'll just uh, randomly walk up to you and just say, like, Oh, I can see you through here, so I'm just gonna explode you and all that stuff. Okay, now we have all that. Now we have to make our way over there. Okay, I'm actually just going to walk. Uh, I'm gonna wait here. I'm not gonna risk myself of actually going through that area, but okay, you better not go over here. I, I, I want to move a little bit over, but I'm already in your flashlight zone, so I'm a little bit afraid to do it. Okay, let's actually just uh, kind of keep the camera back this way because I want to make sure he doesn't catch me. Okay, that's good. Now I'm pretty sure we're in the safe zone, which oh, yay, this is this is this part is the best thing right here because you have to walk over this thing with the barrel. Yep, you have to walk over this thing with the barrel. So that is why this is a little bit tricky. I mean, it's not tricky. The only thing I have to do is just wait here until the thing turns or whatever. It's not all that hard or whatever, but why do I keep saying or whatever? I have no idea why I keep saying it. I just keep do. 
I just keep doing yeah, perfect grammar right there. But I believe this is actually a good time to actually just walk through here. Hopefully, I do not mess up or anything. Let's just make sure I can actually get up here because sometimes there is actually a little bit. It kind of gets a little glitchy at times. And are you gonna turn around or which way are you gonna turn? Luckily, I'm pretty sure this is the safest zone you'll actually get here, just because I'm pretty sure the guard has no way of actually getting right onto this area right here, and he will not shoot you or anything. So that's good. And at times I feel like like I mean, oh god, holy god, that scared the crap out of me. I did not know he was gonna turn around. Luckily, if he does accidentally hit me or anything or gets close to me or whatever, I mean, if he turns, I'm gonna be a little afraid here. But oh god, okay, okay, holy god, I thought he was going to do something there because I, I know the guards does do get suspicious at times or whatever. What I mean by that, I mean like they'll kind of walk over to you and, and just like stare at. That's stare at you but you know what i mean they'll just do something now what we have to do is we have to actually get onto this right here and then jump off that should be the last time anyone puts that engine to use okay now we're actually out of the speed up time even though i probably didn't need to speed it up but i'm just going to speed it up anyways fire okay that does put you on fire but yeah so in this episode we did actually get two of the four missions done we could get and i'm surprised that the tnt runs second okay so anyways, in the next episode, we are either going to do these two missions here or just one of the two. So this has been Demon, Demon Razorblade, thanks, see you later, and goodbye.